Kosi Richard, who's a co commissionario of Gikansa America. Gikinako is a Bethel Baptist Bible Church. Gemayla Visaya, but it's Utinako is a Visaya, a Guman Piro, a Yamo Ketawa. Okay? But Gusto Tamu Tuloan, who's out of Pagato Salangi. Okay? Gusto Ba Tamu Pagato Salangi? Yes! Amen? Amen! So, let's read this first verse together. Do you know what this word means? No. Okay, it means you. Okay. So ye in Messiah is Kamu. Who is the Son of God from heaven? What's his name? Jesus. Amen? Amen. Alright, so going to heaven is as easy as believing in Jesus. Jesus. Okay. I'm going to teach you from the Bible what you must believe about Jesus to go to heaven. Yes. Amen? Amen. Now the first thing that we have to believe about Jesus in the gospel, the Bible says, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. So will I be sani sakatavu in a perfecto? Right? Diliko perfecto. Kamu ba perfecto? Right. Nang rason na kita dili perfecto, tungo ka kitang tanan nakasala. Right? The Bible says, for all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Now, unsa manang sala? Maayo o dili maayo? Ang pagbuha o sala mao ang paglapas sa kasaguan sa Dios. Sinning is breaking God's commandments. And we have all done that. Kuntahay, ako na kasulti na ubaka, kamu na kasulti na ba ubaka? Have you told a lie before? Right, kanan tao na kapamakak na, di ba? Right. Now, mau niyang dili maayon balita first, okay? Nai silo para sa atong mga sala, okay? There is a punishment for our sins. So the bad news first. Are you ready for the bad news? Yes. Amen? Amen. The Bible says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. What is the second death? Do you know? Well, it's basically inferno. Okay? Gusto ba kamu pagatu sa inferno? Yes! Now, hamchu tanu sa taman ang inferno. Tiyo hamchu sa hamchu. Hamchu sa hamchu, right? Now, in the Philippines, I hear, I hear this all the time. Right, do you say that walleye forever? Right. If your uya breaks up with you, you say walleye forever? Okay. Listen, in the Bible, that's not true. Okay? Heaven is forever, and hell is forever. Walleye purgatorio. If you go to hell, hangtu sa hangtu. Asabang? Yes. All right. Now, dili tanan nakapatay. Diba? Are you a murderer? No. No. Are you a a sorcerer? Are you a witch? No. Or a wizard? No. But not pio usab ang tanan bakako. The Bible says all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, mau ni ang dili maayong balita, kita ang gayan maingkerno, kaya kita nakasala. 
okay? Do you understand? Yes! Right. But there's good news, right? The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, right? Now, quien se si Jesus? Who is Jesus? Savior? Messiah? Creator, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Okay. The Bible says that Jesus is the true God and eternal life. So Jesus is God. God took human form approximately 2,000 years ago. Uh, Yang di abu ang mga penula, yang di pakau ng dagang petauhan, yang di banhau ang patay. Jesus showed many signs and many miracles, but the most significant thing that Jesus did, si Jesus na kinabuhi ng walasala. Jesus never sinned. He never lied. He never murdered. He never stole. The Bible says he was manifested to take away our sins. And in him is no sin. So Jesus was perfect because he was God. Now what happened to Jesus? How did Jesus die? Did he have a heart attack? No. Did he get in an accident? No. What happened? Right. Amen? And the Bible says on the cross, God the Father in heaven took the sins, Magasala, of the whole world and place them on Jesus. My sins, your sins, the sins of the past, the present, and even the future, they were all placed on Jesus. And a lot of people don't know this, but after Jesus died, his soul kalag in piano for three days and three nights. And do you want to know why? Because he had our sins. Okay, he had our sins, so he had to go pay for our sins. He burned in hell for three days and three nights. It says in Acts 2, uh, 231. But what happened after three days and three nights? Did he stay there? No. The bondhouse, yeah, amen? Right, his soul came back into his body. He walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. He showed the nail imprints in his hands. He showed his bleeding side. After 40 days and 40 nights, But even though Jesus did that, And I almost forgot. Very easy to go to heaven, okay? But most people make it very difficult. But it's very easy for us. It was hard on Jesus, but it's very easy for us. Uh, let's look at this second verse here. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So ye kamu, our saints, our kalawasan, from Impierno through what? Faith. Faith, right? Now here's the thing. Almost everyone says they believe in Jesus, right? But Jesus says most people go to hell. And I'm going to show you the difference, okay? The thing is, most people have some faith in Jesus, but they also have some faith in their good works, okay? okay? Salvation is not by good deeds, not by working your way to heaven. Because dili kita perfecto. We are not perfect. Actually, kita ang my inferno, kita na kasala. So no matter how hard you try, no matter how much good you do, you're never going to be good enough to go to heaven. So that's why you must place all of your faith in Jesus to go to heaven. Yes. Right. So I'll explain this. Ang kaluwasan dili kinaagi sa pagpamiyembro sa simbahan. Ang kaluwasan dili kinaagi sa pagpabautismo. Ang kaluwasan dili kinaagi sa pagtuman sa napulog na sugo. Ang kaluwasan dili kinaagi sa pagbuhat o maayong binuhatan. Ang kaluwasan dili kinaagi sa pag sa pagkasala. Ang 
kaluwasan kinaangi laman sa pagdudu in what Jesus did. Okay? Most people, they might say the name Jesus with their mouth, but with their heart, they're trusting in their good deeds to go to heaven. Okay? And we'll go to hell if we trust in our good deeds because we need to keep our passion. Yes. Amen? Amen? Do you know John 3.16? Yes. Right? It says the same thing as these two verses. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you want to go to heaven, there's one thing you must do. Okay? Not go to my church, not go to your church, not change your life, not stop sinning, not get baptized, just one thing. Whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen? Amen. Now is that good news? You just have to do one thing to go to heaven. Is that good news? Amen? Right. So, it gets better. Okay? Ang kaluwasan na kahit ang busa kali dili kinitaas in a proseso. Okay? Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. If you believe in Jesus, your soul kalag is saved forever. You can never lose your salvation. Sarihan ka, luwas ka, luwas na ka sa hantun, tungo si Jesus nagbayan sa tanan. Si Jesus nagbayan sa atong mga sala sa una, karon, sa umalago. Okay? The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 that Jesus made one sacrifice for sins forever. Your past sins, your present sins, and even your future sins. So once you believe in Jesus, you can never go to hell. You can never lose your salvation. Bisan ka mudili magasimba, bisan ka mudili magpabautismo, bisan ka mudili pagkalikot sa mga sala, bisan ka mudili magapil sa misa. Once you have believed in Jesus, your soul has passed from death unto life. And Jesus said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Jesus said, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So once you believe, you can never lose your salvation. Now, coming now, I'm not saying to do bad things. Not that done? Amen? Amen. Okay. Because if you're saved and you do bad things, God is not happy with you. Okay? God will chastise you or punish you in this life. Okay? For example, if you believe in Jesus, when you, uh, you do manga broga, okay, God might send Duterte after you. Amen? Amen? But you would go to heaven. But in this life, Duterte might come after you and throw you in prison. Amen? Amen? If you believe in Jesus and you drink alcohol, you're going to do stupid things. Okay? You might cheat on someone, you might abuse someone, you might run around naked. People do stupid things when they drink alcohol. However, spiritually speaking, you would still have salvation. You would still go to heaven because in Kalawasan, by faith, not of works. That's us then? Okay. Kalawasan is a regalo. Okay? Now, a gift. Who pays for the gift, a giver or a receiver? Right. For example, if I give this Bible to her, who paid for it, me or her? I paid for it, right? For her, Libre. Amen? So, Ankalawasan is a gift from who? God. So, by the way, who is Jesus? If this is a gift of God, who is Jesus? God, right? The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So, Ankalawasa on a free gift, all you have to do is receive it by faith. Amen? Jesus? Yeah. No, right? I can lie, you can lie, a, a priest or a pastor or a church can lie, but God is not a liar. This is a promise from Jesus right here. These things have 
I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. Okay? Did you notice this word right here? No. Okay? Look, if 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 you believe on the name of the Son of God, you know that you have eternal life. Can I stop that? Yes. I know I have eternal life. Deeply co perfecto. I sin every day. But I did one thing. Believe, right? I believed on Jesus nine years ago. And that moment, He saved my soul forever. Past sins, present sins, and future sins, okay? So that's the gospel. One thing you must do. Amen. Right? And these words mean the same thing. Believe, faith, trust, patu, okay? So let me ask you this. Ang pagsimba ba makaluas ninyo? Ang pagkabuotang bata ba makaluas ninyo? Ang Ang bautismo ba makaluwas ninyo? Yeah. Ang kaluwasa ang pinahagi lamang sa pagtu. Right? Now, who do you have to believe in? What's his name? Jesus, right? So, si Kibaloy ba makaluwas ninyo? Si Richard ba makaluwas ninyo? Si the Pope ba makaluwas ninyo? Si Maria ba makaluwas ninyo? No, right? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. I can't save you, you can't save you, a cult leader can't save you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, stop that. Amen. Now, once you believe in Jesus, how long does Jesus save you for? Temporary or Amen. Right? So, Right. So let, let me quiz you. What if someone believed in Jesus and they got saved, they got salvation, they got eternal life, would they go in Pierno Ulani? Right? Because I Right? What if someone believed in Jesus when you had daily magma bautismo? They go in Pierno Ulangi. Right? What if someone believed in Jesus when you had daily paginoso samanga sala? In Pierno Ulangi. Right? Now I've got three really hard questions. Are you ready for these? Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. Alright. This one's really hard. This one's really bad. Okay? And I don't want anyone to do this, but the reason I ask these questions is to make sure all of your faith is in Jesus and not in your good works. That's not done? Okay. But what if someone believed in Jesus they committed murder? Would they go in Kiarno Ulagi? You're right. Right? But they would probably go to jail in this life. Amen? Amen? What if what if someone believed in Jesus in Pico? In Kierno or Langi? Who thinks in Kierno? Who thinks Langi? In Langi. Because suicide kills your body, but Jesus saves your soul. Amen? One sacrifice for sins forever. Okay, my hardest question. Are you ready? Amen? Amen? Amen. Okay, this one's really hard. What if someone had faith in Jesus, they trusted in Jesus, and they got eternal life, their soul, Kala, Unya, five years later, Matuka Duka. Oh, that's really hard. They believe, they get saved, Unya, five years later, Matuka Duka. Who 
thinks him care now? Who thinks Langi? It's Langi. Because a Kalawasan Wallai Processo, right? Salvation happens in a moment of time, okay? Whenever you believe in Jesus, are you listening? Amen? Amen. Whenever you believe in Jesus, you get what? Right. So if you believe and you get eternal life, when you have five years later, Maguha Duha, you already you already got eternal life. Amen. Um, have you heard the term born again before? Have you heard that term born again? Yes. Okay, right? The Bible says there are two births. There's a physical birth. And there's a spiritual word. Okay, Jesus said you must be born again. And being born again is by believing in Jesus. Okay? The Bible says, Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. The Bible says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So when you believe in Jesus, you become a child of God spiritually, okay? Now, physically speaking, I am my father's son, physically, right? My dad's name is Paul. I was born 30 years ago, 30 years ago, okay? Now, growing up, Delico Perfecto, right? I did not always obey my parents. I ran away from home before. I beat up my little brother before. I told my parents I hated them before, and my parents were not happy. But guess what? My parents were always my parents. Amen? Amen? And that's the same way with Jesus. Once you believe in Jesus, once you're born again, you are God's child. Okay? You can break His commandments. You can lie. You can steal. You can cheat. You would still be God's child, but God would punish you very harshly. But he would never send you to hell. Do you understand? Even if, even if I stop believing my dad, my physical dad is my dad, he is still my dad. Amen? So if you believe in Jesus, and then Maduha Duha, you already got born again. You already got eternal life. That's not done. Amen? Amen. Now, so that's the good news of the gospel. The good news, believe in Jesus, you're saved forever. Do we understand the bad news? The bad news, Do you understand that? Yes. Right. Yes. Do you believe he died for some of your sins or all of your sins? Oh, yes. Do you believe in the bond house yet? Yes. Okay. I'm almost done. But I've got to say something really quick that might hurt your feelings, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Amen? Yes. I'm not doing it to be mean. But listen, before we talked, most people had some faith in Jesus and some faith in their works, okay? Dili kana That is not salvation. Okay, salvation is when all of your faith is in Jesus. That's not that? Amen. Alright. So, when should you believe this? Amen. Amen. Should you wait for 20 years? No. Should you wait until you're dying in a hospital? No. Should you wait until you're wrecking your motor? No. no, right? The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Now, uh, do you believe this? Yes. Now, if you believe this, if you believe this, how would you tell Jesus you believe? Not about cell phone on Gios? Not about walkie talkie on Gios? Not about Facebook Messenger on Gios? Not. How would you tell Jesus you believe? Pray. Pray, my God. Amen? Amen. So, we're almost finished, but pay very close attention. If you pray to Jesus and you ask Jesus to save you, do you believe that he would save you? 